So, Hannah, when did you first realize you were, you know, gay? It wasn't so much a realization as it was an awareness. I kind of just always knew. But surely something must have happened. Was it your father? Did his alcoholism push you toward women? What? No. My sexuality has nothing to do with my dad's struggles. Have you considered that your attraction to women might be a result of unresolved daddy issues? It's a common psychological phenomenon, you know. That's not how it works, Irma. Being gay isn't caused by trauma or daddy issues. It's a natural variation of human sexuality. But have you tried not being gay? I've heard of these conversion therapy programs that have great success rates. Those programs are harmful pseudoscience. They've been discredited and banned in many places. I just think if you prayed hard enough and really committed to changing, you could overcome this lifestyle choice. It's not a choice, Irma, and it's certainly not something that needs to be overcome. This is exactly why I study criminal behavior, to understand and combat the kind of ignorance and prejudice that leads to crimes of hate. Hate crimes? I'm just trying to help you find the right path. Your father's absence clearly affected you more than you realize. Leave my father out of this. His struggles have nothing to do with my sexuality. And for the record, he's always been supportive of who I am. Well, that was a big fat lie. I'm just trying to save your soul, Hannah. Can't you see that? My soul doesn't need saving, Irma. But your mind could use some serious education. Breaking news. A potential body has been discovered in the remote mountains, outside the known territory of the so-called galvanizer dallas corbin is already on the scene but the murder isn't confirmed yet good afternoon lana right here at this spot next to this stone i'm sitting on another supposed victim was found brutally murdered in the exact way he is now monikered for the victim apparently has been galvanized to death the report isn't official if the body just found is in fact the last unfortunate victim of this horrific monster. And you follow this story and bring you more updates as soon as they emerge. Let's stay tuned. Get this son of a bitch. This is Dallas Corbin reporting. Back to you, Lana. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Our Father.